you now to a little uh, Greek restaurant and show you the fella who makes the salads for the $2 dinners. <laughs> and also show you why they keep the lights down low in little Greek restaurants. <laughs> Oh, you want to see little boy? Okay, no. Because I don't know why it is. All the time I get in smack. For no reason at all, I'm always getting smacked. Like last night, my mommy says, go to bed, the Sandman's coming. I said, give me a buck, I won't tell Pop. Mm. <laughs> He's walking down the street one day and he says, pardon me, sir. Is you a preacher? Yes, I'm a preacher. Could I ask you a question? Why, certainly, little boy. What is it? Is it true that we came from dust? Yes, we came from dust. And when we pass on, does we go back to dust again? We came from dust and we go back to dust. Why do you ask? <laughs> Would you mind coming up to our house and look under the bed? Because somebody's either coming or going. <laughs> Lining. 
This week's special at Kmart. <laughs> hey, uh, wee, boy, look at my skin leak, and I just got out here. <laughs> Ooh, uh, really, something in it tonight? Oh, that helps a little. <laughs> now, I like things that actually happen, things that really happen. I'm standing on the corner the other day, and a funeral goes by. And, and I said to the little guy next to me, gee, I wonder who's dead. He said, I think it's the guy in the first car, you know? <laughs> like that happened to me all the time. I'm on a crowded elevator. I'm on a crowded elevator. And, and, and a lady gets off in front of me. She turns around and smacks me right in the mouth. And I turn to the other guest and I said, I thought she was rather rude. And a little kid in front of me says, I thought so too. That's why I pinched her. <laughs> but I'm out at the airport. I'm out at the airport and, um, in Ontario. See? And they're filling this plane with this, um, uh, uh, this gas a hole. <laughs> <laughs> and this one guy says to his buddy, he says, I uh, wonder what this stuff would do to you if you drank some of it. He says, I don't know, go get some paper cups and we'll try it. <laughs> so they take these things up, they have a few slugs of this stuff. The next morning, this one guy calls his friend, he says, how do you feel? He says, oh, I'm all right. He says, any ill effects from that gas a hall? He says, no. He says, did you burp? He says, no. He says, well, don't. I'm in Chicago. <laughs> I'm going to do a little pantomime for you now. Uh, the... Uh, Budapest players, I think, have the greatest technique in mimes. They take tragedy and show you the humor that lies within all tragedy. And this is called the birth, life, and death of a flower in a storm. Thank you. 
I would like to say I do thank each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, I, I've missed you every Tuesday night, really and truly, for the last 10 years. like to thank each and every one of you and I sincerely hope that I haven't said or done anything to offend anyone if I did I really didn't mean to and I hope that you had as much fun as we've had because it's a lot of fun to try and make people laugh because regardless of what your heartache might have been while laughing for a few seconds you've forgotten about it and I personally believe that each and every one of us was put here for a purpose and that's to build and not to destroy. And if by chance someday you're not feeling well, and you should remember some silly little thing that I've said or done, and it brings back a smile to your face or a chuckle to your heart, then my purpose as your clown has been fulfilled. Thank you very much. Good night, and may God bless. The time has